Alright guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. Today I have my neighbor Tom, and today we are going to be shooting a World War II M1 Grand 30-06 semi-automatic with armor-piercing rounds. We have a one-inch plate target that was laminated with two laminated together by welding with two half-inch plates. We've shot it with 50 caliber, and the 50 caliber bullets did not penetrate the laminated one-inch steel. Uh, these are these are 30 out six rounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this one-inch plate with an armor-piercing World War II round to see if it goes straight through. So these ones sticking out right here, these are the 50 cals we shot before, and they're pretty loose in there. And then we have some marks right here where there's actually like dents in it. Those are from other 30 out sixes, just normal, just normal rounds. And we shot it right here twice in the same spot with a 30 out six. And as you can tell, it went all the way through in that hole. And let's see what happens. We shoot it with some 30 out six armor piercing rounds. Black tip, armor piercing rounds in an M1 Grand. We're ready to go. We're off safe. We'll see if I can hit it. I hit one right here. Look at, so I'm shooting low right there. That's what splattered on this. Okay, so we shot one low and then the other three, we don't know where they went. Nope, I think they were down into the target. Okay, so we'll aim a little higher this time and try again. So we were just shooting those four shots at 100 yards and all of them were low and we're in open sights. So we're gonna move up to probably 75 yards and then we're gonna take a couple more shots and see if we can hit it and see what happens. Okay guys, so we hit it with one shot. Look at the back side. And it hit right there. Back. Looks like that. Look at that. You can see the bullet. Clear through. No, oh, this is it right here. So you can There's, see- Look at the tungsten tip. The tungsten tip out of the round is stuck in there. So it's right there. You can see the bullet almost going through it. You can see the tungsten tip right there. You can see it in there. Uh-huh. So, Let's take a couple more shots. See if we can keep hitting it and see if well, it'll go two, all the way through. There it is. Okay, let's go take a look at that shot. Hit right there. Let's see if the tongue, yeah, the tungsten piece is buried in there. Oh, there it the is. Same thing as last time. Oh my gosh. We have one that hit right there. It did not go all the way through. And we have another one that hit right there. And it also did not go all the way through. They're but it very, penetrated. They're very close, but they did not go all the way through. Now we have some half inch targets. They're pretty small, but we're gonna be shooting them with 30-06 full metal jackets, and we'll see if they go through those. 
Let's get to it. This is open sights. I don't know if I've zeroed in. Not even close. Probably shooting low, just like all the other ones. We'd have a hard time seeing that. So we're shooting at these small targets and we can't, we're missing them, but we can't tell where we're hitting at. So we're gonna spray paint all the background, all the railroad ties white and the targets white. And then when we miss, we'll see where the holes are for where we miss so we can aim in the right direction and hopefully hit them. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that to happen, and it took out the GoPro. Oh, killed the GoPro too. The round hit here and splattered that way, but what caused this? Um, there was a piece of lead that hit the. Yeah, probably. There was a piece of lead that hit the nail. It even bent. There was so there was so much pressure on there that it bent that big nail. It bent them both. So guys, we shot it with a full metal jacket. And it went clean through this target. See the hole? You can see straight through it. It did that for both of them. So let's repaint it, nail it back in, and give it a few more shots. There you go. Okay, we gotta reset up this GoPro. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. That got hit by shrapnel. Well, that sucks. It might have killed the inside of it too, like the actual GoPro. I don't know. <laughs> well, there Michael goes that. Is Matt a GoPro. Hey, you shot it, not me. <laughs> um, well, there goes our GoPro. Um, that sucks. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. That got hit by shrapnel. So, that's fine. But the case looks like this. Oh, man, I'm glad we didn't hurt the camera. Well, it looks like we have to get a new GoPro case, guys. Because there goes that. Well, so we're done filming with the GoPro for today. And probably... <laughs> For quite a while so there won't be very many interesting shots anymore because well that's what the case looks like now i wish that wouldn't have happened but we're done using the gopro for close-up shots might use it for actual filming but we don't have a case so probably won't use it for that much so we got to get a new case but let's get back to shooting Okay, so we completely wrecked this GoPro case. We had a piece of shrapnel hit right on the lens, totally shattered it. And we had a little piece hit right there. There was no damage to the actual GoPro itself. Thank the Lord that to the actual GoPro itself, there is no damage on the lens or that other spot where it hit. No damage to the GoPro, just to the case and we have to get a new case. Okay guys, so we shot it and let's go check it out. Eight round clip. Eight round clip just came out. Look how bad it bent that. And this nail was straight before 
and the paint was wet. Yeah. That's where we hit it. This one did not go all the way through, but the first one did. It bent it. It bent it a little it bit, bent but the plate. it the it deflected. The nail was straight, and now it is at a 90 degree turn. This is the other one. This one went clean through. So there's where it hit. Just like the last one. Okay, guys. So recap of it. We shot. Two eight, we hit two AP rounds, armor piercing, one right there, one right there. They almost went through, but they did not. This is one inch steel, we shot four full metal jackets. At these two plates, we had, on this plate, we had both of them go through. And on this plate, we had one go all the way through. And we had one just hit the edge and it deflected. So if it would have been a more center shot, then it would have went all the way through. But it hit the edge and it just deflected off. Okay, well, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. The moral of the story that we learned today is don't put a GoPro right next to your target when you're shooting it because you'll wreck the case. Thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hunt, fish, and love every day.